as the only reason we breed is to improve all the time. So if I do a mating, I take a buck to a doe, mm -hmm. right? And I don't get good enough results out of the kits to replace the parents. Mm -hmm. it, was, it wasn't a good breeding. You need to always be moving forward. Always, always, always. Hi, hi everyone. Um, I mean, once again, you are most welcome to Ace Rabbit Farm. Um, today is a special day, a very beautiful day as usual. Um, every day is a blessing here at Ace Farm. But more importantly, I really wanted us to touch on the topic of, you know, conservation. Conservation of the gene pool that we have in Ghana. So I keep saying Ghana because, honestly speaking, majority of our audience on YouTube are from Ghana. But we know we've got guys from the U.S., guys from uh, Kenya, absolutely, Karibu, Karibu, Kenya. Uh, we've got guys from Togo, uh, Senegal are watching us, Nigeria, I'm, I'm Niger, Kilo Day, you know. So um, we are really having fun on this channel. But more importantly, we just wanted to talk about, you know, preserving the genes that we have in Africa. Now, on the side, l l l I just want to deviate a little bit and just give you a little background. So, rabbit actually comes from Africa. Well, so Mediterranean Africa, all along the line from Ethiopia, all the way to Morocco, you know, into the Mediterranean country. That is where, that is where actually the original genes of rabbit come from. And we have lost it. We have lost it. And now we are trying through these processes to bring rabbit back. So now my question is, are we doing enough to conserve these genes that we are now bringing into country? Are we doing enough to ensure that we have the right breeds in our country? Yeah, so today join me on the topic of, you know, conservation. Uh, it is very dear to my heart. I really take that topic so seriously because... Here at Ace Farm, we have gone through the process of bringing in the top quality genes that we currently have in 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 uh, in, uh, in Ghana. We've brought in the top quality genes, which is purposely dedicated for meat production. Okay, we've brought all these animals in with the intention of retaining that genes and then propagating that gene so that we can spread the good gene across the farming communities. And to be successful at doing that, we need to then implement what I want to call conservation. Okay, conservation and making sure that we don't have to always import animals into the country. So if you've imported sufficient gene pool, how do you then conserve? How do you then strategically breed and ensure that you retain this gene pool in, in, in the country? Okay, so today you guys know we've already brought in the white uh, New Zealand, a whole lot of them, guys, with increased production. As we speak now, majority of the farmers in Ghana are receiving stock. And they are already giving us beautiful comments, beautiful accolades that their animals are doing very well. Their sizes are coming right. So for feeding them the same amount of food, uh, feed in this case, and getting the, the result, the weight, the production, absolutely beautiful. That is what we want to do. So we are doing that. But the point is this, as these animals get sent to different farms, they obviously do crossbreeding, you know, people are playing around, people are just experimenting. And before you realize, we have lost the gene. And so it is so important, it is so relevant that we speak about conserving the gene. How do we conserve the gene? How do we make sure that if you speak about New Zealand, breed in, in africa we truly have a new zealand breed in africa if you speak if you speak about a white new zealand we truly have a white new zealand if you speak about a red new zealand we truly have a red new zealand if you speak about a true californian we really have a true californian okay so that for me is the purpose of this discussion today is to bring about the topic of conserving conserving the gene pool and therefore this actually speaks to the type of farmers that we have so if you are farming in Africa right now, the question is, what type of farming are you doing? Are you just a, a breeder? That means you only focus on breeding and keeping the, the line pure. 
or are you just producing for meat if you are just producing for meat, then by all means you do a whole lot of things you do crossbreeding you do mix whatever but when you produce when you reproduce those animals they strictly go for meat so that you don't end up polluting the gene um yeah basically the gene pool so the idea is when you're crossing these animals you're crossing them with a purpose in mind and in this particular topic the purpose is to conserve conserve the gene so today i'm dedicating these few minutes of uh, video recordings to um, conservation of the animals that we have in ghana okay uh, while we are busy conserving boom we can go ahead and start recreating new breeds not necessarily new breeds as in new breeds out there but there is now a method that comes out on how to produce how to reproduce our own new zealand black as an example uh, elliot is attempting to do that right now but as it stands look the formula is there i'm going to show the formula to you uh, if you want to create your own new zealand black a true pure new zealand black this is how you create it okay so just join me and let's see how we run through this exercise now before we even go further spend some time and listen to what uh, gavin who was gracious host uh excuse me has got to say so let's let's just pay attention to what gavin is going to be saying right now okay all right i'll catch you on the other side the, the only reason we breed is to improve all the time so if i do a mating i take her back to a doe mm -hmm. right and i don't get good enough results out of the kits to replace the parents mm -hmm. it was it wasn't a good breeding you need to always be moving forward always 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 most of our does in this shed don't get more than three litters by the third litter i've bred something better than her she goes to the freezer and i replace her because it's always moving forward it's not just not just i've got my five bucks and my my five does and my one buck and that's what i'm breeding with and it doesn't matter what happens that's going that's going backwards that's stagnating you've got to be moving forward all the time all the time you have to be so animal forward. improvement the animal improvement act have ever look have a look at make contact with your your local department of agriculture or state veterinary service or something somewhere like that and have a conversation with them. go see them go sit down across the table from them this is what we want to do what is already in place it's not in place why Get it in place. If you guys want copies of documents, I'll send them. Gavin, know, Gavin has just given us. So we've we've created something called Grab. Yeah. Ghana Rabbit Breeders. Okay. As a starting for that. So that's, that's the way to go. Animal improvement is what we're going to be so doing. If you've yeah. got if you've got a national association, it's easier mm. to talk to government. Yeah. Because they listen to somebody who's used looking after everything. Yeah. It's easier to talk to government from a national perspective than it is one farmer going to government and saying, what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> you, know? you can say, listen, this is who we are. This is our association. We represent the majority of the farmers in the country. Mm. Help us. Help that's, us. That's the, that's the way to do it. That's what they're there for. So, um, guys, listening to um, Gavin, uh, this was, by the way, um, Elliot's training, some of his field visits, okay? Excuse me. And those are some of the things that I picked up. And he called it Animal Improvement Act. It's an improvement. Okay? I call it conservation. I'm actually talking about just keeping what we have and keeping it well. Not polluting it. He is talking about improvement. Okay? So, Animal Improvement Act. And we have to be moving forward. Sorry, my no little note I made. We have to be moving forward in everything that we do. So you cannot just cross your animals in anyhow. If by all means, if you are producing them for me, go ahead. But we need to improve and improve and improve. And that is what Gavin is talking about. So, uh, guys, uh, there it is. We have to be serious about what we are doing. We have to strictly go into conservation mode so that we can ensure that when we are feeding our animals 100 grams of feed, they are converting that feed into muscle which in this case is the meat that we are all looking for, okay? Until we do proper conservation, we'll be farming for a long time without getting the actual result. So guys, conservation, conservation, conservation. We have created what is called a grab, uh, Ghana rabbit breeders, which is basically an effort to try and bring an awareness 
to a group of farmers who are keen on preserving the top quality gene, on improving the top quality gene so that we can be moving forward and forward. So without much I said, you've seen it all guys. There's a lot of materials out there that is going to help us to progress in this rabbit uh, venture that we are trying to take on. And therefore, I invite you, you know, please send your comments, like, give us thumbs up, send comments, give us direction on where to move. So we are creating this content based on how we see it and how we are moving forward. We really want to see you coming to the party and engaging us so that we can have a better direction. So without much as said, guys, absolutely, we appreciate you uh, and we'll see you again. Asante sana. Bye. Mm-hmm.